Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing seven different portable pen displays. Portable meaning that they're small and light and easy to travel with. So the seven different pen displays I'll be reviewing and comparing today uh, range in price from $159, that's before any discounts or coupons, uh, and uh, all the way up to $300. So the first one we have is v uh, VK1200 drawing tablet. Uh, this drawing monitor has a resolution of uh, 1920 by 1080p pixels. Now, by the way, all of these displays I'm going to be reviewing today, they all have the exact same resolution. Uh, it also comes with a 72% NTSC color accuracy. Uh, this screen is 11.6 inches diagonally. Uh, the display is also fully laminated, which combines the glass and the screen for a thin and more accurate drawing experience with almost no parallax. Uh, the whole display is only 8 millimeters thin, which is very thin, and it, this is also, I think, the lightest display that I've reviewed in this video. There are six customizable buttons on the left side of the screen. The battery-free pen has 8,192 levels of pen pressure and it supports up to 60 degrees of tilt function. And this pen display actually comes with two pens. Uh, this display also comes with a pen holder. The pen holder also has a pen nibs hidden inside of it. Uh, there's also a USB Type-C port and HDMI port. Uh, there's also a power button and a brightness rocker. To connect this to your computer, you will need the provided HDMI to micro HDMI cable. So what are the, some of the positive things about this display? Well, first is that it comes actually with two pens. Uh, none of the other screens or displays come with two pens. Uh, it's also very thin and light, like I mentioned, and it has those six programmable shortcut buttons. Now, the negative things about this is that there is no stand, first of all, included uh, for tilting the display. Uh, also, there is a slight lag when drawing really fast on the screen. So... Uh, when I was uh, using the pen, like I said, in very swift kind of motions, sometimes I noticed that the, the actual uh, the cursor on the screen took a little bit of, you know, to catch up. Most of the time that doesn't create a problem, but there are some cases where uh, that was a little bit annoying. Overall, it's a decent tablet when you consider how cheap it is. Uh, so if you're a beginner or someone who just needs a drawing pen display for casual use, but you really don't want to spend two or even three times as much as some of the other options out there, then uh, this is maybe something you can consider. However, for anyone who draws a lot and really needs a sort of, I would say, top of the quality display for commercial work, then I would recommend you spend a little bit more on some of the other displays. Next up, we have Gammon, which is the PD1161 model. Uh, this is an 11.6 inch size screen uh, diagonally. Uh, again, it's a 1920 by 1080 p resolution. Uh, this screen features a 72% NTSC color gamut accuracy and a viewing angle of 178 degrees, uh, at least according to the specs, which I personally would say is a much smaller viewing angle. Uh, this display is not a fully laminated display. Instead, the company says that they applied a protective film. Now, this protective layer is what I think is making the colors on this display just not as good uh, as some of the other pen displays that I reviewed. Uh, next to the screen, there are eight programmable buttons to speed up your workflow. On the left side of the display, there is an auto button, uh, then also a plus and minus buttons for navigating the menus, also a menu and a power button. On the right side, there are USB-C type and micro HDMI ports. Uh, the pen that's included is battery free also, and it has tilt recognition for up to 60 degrees, uh, plus 8192 levels of pen pressure. Uh, the pen also has two programmable buttons. This, by the way, comes with a pen holder, which also stores the extra pen and nibs. So the good things about this display are the eight customizable buttons. It has a pretty accurate and responsive pen. Uh, also, the pen does not need to be charged. Now, some of the negative things is the viewing angle, like I mentioned. It's not very good. Uh, and also, there's no stand included in this one. The Gammon pen display can definitely be used to create artwork. Now, the pen is responsive and fairly accurate. Uh, I just find that the 11.6 inch uh, screen is just a little bit too small for my liking. Uh, also, the fact that uh, the viewing angle is pretty bad on this uh, and it doesn't come with a stand. It means that uh, to be able to really use this, you have to have it at just the right angle. So you're looking at the screen uh, directly kind of head on. Uh, so that means that you will have to spend a little bit of extra money to buy that stand. All right, the next pen display that we have in terms of the price is going to be the XP Pen Artist at 12. This is the second generation. And like I said, this is a little bit more expensive than the previous display. 
This one sells right now for $219. There is, however, a $30 coupon on Amazon. The screen size on this is 11.9 inches in size diagonally. Uh, it's also full 1080p. It has 90% NTSC accuracy and 178 degrees of viewing angle. Now, this is a fully laminated screen, which again means that it combines the glass and the screen together to eliminate that parallax. On the left side of the screen, it comes with eight customizable buttons. Now, on the right side of the display, you will find a power button, brightness buttons, and two USB-C type ports. This display comes with a three-in-one cable, which is great. Just keeps everything more organized. But what's even better is that you can actually connect this one using just a simple USB-C uh, cable. And this will actually provide both power to the display, also the video signal and the data from you know, the pen input. And this is how I use it now. However, that USB-C cable is not included. You will have to buy that separately. But being able to connect this display to your laptop using a single USB-C cable really does make the whole setup a lot cleaner and faster. The pen on this has 8,192 levels of pen pressure and 60 degrees of pen tilt recognition. This display, however, does not come with a pen stand or a stand for the display itself. So what are the good things about this display? Well, like I said, those eight customizable buttons just make working a lot faster. Uh, I love that single cable connection uh, and also the fact that the pen does not need to be charged. The negative things is, like I said, there, there are no stands included for the display or for the pen. Now, setting up and calibrating this pen display was very easy right out of the box uh, for both my Windows and Mac laptops. I've used this to draw and to actually do some animation and it was a pleasure using it. it. has great contrast, color reproduction, and the pen is very responsive and accurate. Now, something to be aware of is that, like I said, the screen display is only 11.9 inches in size. For me, I find that that's like the smallest screen size that I can still manage to use. Anything smaller than this and uh, basically reading menus or text uh, is, becomes really difficult for me. For you, that might not be an issue. I know for some people, even this might be a little bit too small. Uh, so that's when you might want to sort of upgrade, you could say, and spend a little bit extra money for the slightly larger displays that are, that are still portable, like the ones that are 13 or over 13 inches in size. Now, this pen display will work great for both a beginner and a professional and is an overall great tool on a budget. However, if you have extra money and want a few of the extra things like the adjustable stand and things like that, then... Uh, you should consider looking at the slightly larger version uh, the, of the XP Pen, which I'll be reviewing uh, coming up. All right, next uh, display is from Huon, which is the Canvas Pro 12 drawing tablet. This one retails right now for $199. This pen display has an IPS screen that's 11.6 inches across, which, like I mentioned, might be a little bit too small for some of you guys. Now, it's not going to be an issue when you're drawing, but again, I'm just saying when you're navigating menus or trying to read text, Sometimes that, that size, at least for me, it, it just I find it a little bit too small. Uh, this is a fully laminated screen, so it's going to help with that parallax. It has 178 degrees viewing angle, and it comes with four customizable buttons and a slight touch bar. The pen has 8,192 levels of pen pressure and 60 degrees of pen tilt recognition. It also comes with a stand for the pen, which will also hold your extra nibs. And this whole kit includes an adjustable stand for the display. The cable that's included uh, has a single plug that attaches to the side of the display, and then it has sort of like a splitter, uh, you know, cables with HDMI and USB uh, connections on the other side that you plug into your laptop. So the good things about this uh, display are the four customizable buttons and a touch bar. Also, the pen does not need to be charged. I, I like the single cable connection on the side, just makes the whole setup a lot cleaner. And the fact that a stand is included in this, and it's also got adjustable angles. Now, the negative thing about this display is that the pen tip detection, I found, is not very accurate. After doing the pen calibration multiple times, the pen tip just wasn't being detected as accurately as some of the other pen displays that I've uh, recently tried. And also, like I said, for me, the screen size is just a little bit too small uh, when, again, trying to navigate in menus or read text. So this display just isn't something that uh, I can really recommend. All right, next up is the XP Pen Artist 13.3 Pro. Uh, this retails for $259. Now, there is a $20 coupon at the time of this video. Uh, this display is very thin and light, which I like, but it has the 13.3-inch uh, size uh, display or screen. Uh, it's also full 1080p resolution, has 88% NTSC accuracy and 170 degrees of viewing angle. And it also is a fully laminated screen uh, to, again, help eliminate that parallax. 
It comes with eight customizable side button and a scroll wheel, which is really nice. Uh, on the other side, there is a power button, brightness rocker, and also a single USB Type-C connection for both video and uh, power and data supply. This display comes with a case for the pen, uh, which also holds your extra nibs. Uh, the pen is also battery free and has up to 60 degrees of tilt recognition and 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. Calibrating this pen display was super easy and it worked really well on both Windows and Mac. Using this for drawing was a pleasure. It has really good contrast and color reproduction. And also I found that the pen was very responsive and uh, accurate. So what are the good things about this display? Well, like I mentioned, it has a really good contrast and color reproduction, has those eight customizable buttons and a scroll wheel. Uh, the pen does not need to be charged. I also like that single cable connection on the side, which just again makes it for a cleaner setup. Uh, the fact that the stand is included is another plus. Also did not notice any parallax with this. Uh, the negative things, really, I haven't noticed anything negative. I was going to mention the price, but uh, recently, again, I saw that the price is being discounted. So it is still actually a really good deal. So if you can afford it, then definitely the XP Pen Artist 13.3 Pro will get you a nice portable size pen display that, in my opinion, is still not too small when it comes to reading text or navigating, yet it's small enough to be able to travel with it easily. Plus, it has, like I said, all the extra bells and whistles you might want. And it's a great overall display for both a beginner and a professional. All right, the next display we're going to look at is from Huon, which is the Canvas 13 pen display. Uh, this one retails on a B&H for $239. And on Amazon, it uh, goes for $259. But there is a $39 coupon. This display has a screen uh, which is 13.3 inches large. Uh, again, full 1080p resolution. It's an IPS display that is fully laminated, uh, that which will minimize the parallax. On the left side of the screen, you'll find eight customizable buttons plus a power button. And on the right side of the screen, there are two USB Type-C ports. The pen that's included is uh, battery free again. It has 8,192 levels of pen pressure and 60 degrees of tilt support. Plus, it also has two customizable buttons. Included with this is also a stand for the pen, which will hold those extra pen nibs. Now, this display, just like the XP Artist 12, uh, it also comes with a 3-in-1 cable that you can plug in here on the side of the display. But you can also use that simple USB Type-C cable, which again is not included, but uh, something very affordable to get uh, on your own. And this really just makes the whole setup a lot faster and cleaner when you're connecting it to your laptop. So the good things about this pen display is, like I said, that single cable connection. I really love it. There's no noticeable parallax. Uh, the pen is very accurate and responsive. Uh, it also comes with eight customizable buttons. And also the pen does not need to be charged. Uh, the only negatives about this is that it does not come with a stand for the display itself. Overall, the colors on this and the sharpness are pretty decent. Uh, the size makes it comfortable to read and, again, navigate the menus. Uh, calibrating the screen was easy, but one thing I noticed was when it's setting up the pen pressure, uh, I did have a few problems. In the end, I did get it to work in Photoshop and a few of my other programs, but uh, still, when I would go to the Huon setup app, uh, I was not able to actually get the, the app to recognize the pen pressure. The pen is, however, very accurate and responsive, and uh, really, aside from the fact that it does include that stand, uh, for the display itself, uh, I think this is a really great option for both beginners and professionals. And the last display up here we have is from Wacom. This is the Wacom One Creative Pen Display, and this sells for $299. This display has a screen that's 13.3 inches in size diagonally. It's again full 1080p resolution, covers 72% of the NTSC color space, and has a wide 170 degree viewing angle. Now, this does not come with any stand uh, for the display itself but it does have foldable legs, which actually work pretty well. Now, the legs will not allow you to adjust the angle of it, but again, it, this worked well for me. Uh, the pen included with this is, again, battery-free, and it has 4,096 levels of pen pressure or sensitivity, which is a little bit lower than all the other uh, pen displays. And it also has the same 60 degrees of tilt uh, support or recognition. Uh, the pen also has one customizable button. This display comes with a simple but actually kind of cool uh, pen uh, holder, which is basically just this little piece of strap that is attached to the top of the display, and you put your pen inside of it. And I actually find that this works great because when I was traveling with it, again, I always knew that I had the pen with me. I was not looking for the pen in my bag. It was always attached to the display itself. 
And this display also comes with a single cable connection on top of the display, which again, just makes the whole setup look and feel a lot cleaner. So the good things about this display are, like I said, that built-in pen attachment, uh, that single cable for data power and video connections, which just makes the whole setup cleaner, and those built-in legs into display. The negative things is that it does not come with any customizable buttons on the side. And also I did notice a slight parallax when you're looking at the screen a little bit from the side. Now this whole display has decent image quality. Uh, it's very nice, thin and light. So again, great for portability and traveling with. Now the main sort of disappointing thing about this display is that uh, it is from, you could say, the biggest and most recognizable brand when it comes to pen displays. Uh, and, uh, you know, because of that, I guess you're paying premium price, yet you're getting very few things included. So when it comes to the Wacom One Creative Pen Display, really, it's the main negative thing about this is the price. If this was way cheaper, then again, it's a, you know, okay display. It could be used for both professionals and for uh, beginners. Uh, but the fact is that, you know, you can buy something a lot cheaper that has more and better features. So because of that, again, it's kind of hard for me to recommend this. So out of all these different pen displays that we've looked at, I would say my top choice is the XP Pen Artist 13.3 Pro. It is not the cheapest option out there, but again, it's not the most expensive one either, but it comes with pretty much everything that you might need in a pen display. It has that slightly larger 13.3 inch screen size, has those customizable buttons. It comes with an included stand, it has really great contrast and color reproduction. And really, like I said, there was no negatives that I found about this. My very close second choice out of this list would be the Huon Canvas 13 pen display. It again has that nice 13.3 inch large screen display that has decent colors and contrast. I love that single USB type C cable connection. Uh, it, the pen is very responsive and accurate. It has those eight customizable buttons and just overall again, a decent deal. And my third choice out of this list would have to be the XP Pen Artist 12. Uh, this again, it's a great display if you don't mind the slightly smaller size, uh, but otherwise, again, beautiful colors and contrast has those customizable buttons, uh, has that, again, that really nice one single USB Type-C cable connection, which just makes everything faster and cleaner. And of course, the price is really good too. So even though it doesn't come with that stand for the display, again, if you offset the price and you get like one of those more affordable stands, uh, you'll still be very good. Now, those are just my choices. How about you guys share your opinions in the comment section and let me know which displays you think are the best. And definitely if you had experience using any of these, then again, share your positive and negative things about the, each display. Also, just a reminder that this video is not sponsored by any of the pen display manufacturers, but it is sponsored by all of you who buy my filmmaking tutorials and LADs. Now, if you haven't bought those or you want to check them out, then definitely head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.